guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing a little bit of a shopping vlog as well as a haul video. First and foremost, as you guys can see, we have some Dior bags, but these are not regular Dior bags. If you know, these are the men's Dior bags, which only means one thing. I'm taking you guys with me to the private pre-launch of the Air Jordan collaboration. Okay, so we've come into the private room at Dior where they kept a bunch of the Air Dior Jordan pieces. And he's like, yeah, just choose whatever you want. So, getting a bit mad. I love the t-shirts because they're like the only thing that really fit me, but are still oversized. They have some like long sleeve high neck stuff. Don't know how that's gonna look, but that's large. Yeah, there's like no small ones. Guys, I got my Dior stuff. I'll show you when I get home, but I picked up a cake and something from Bulma because it was on sale. <laughs> okay, so that was a little bit of um, what happened in store. It was a bit crazy. Actually, no, it was very organized in the sense that there wasn't too many people. It was by appointment only. They were only allowing one item per person in terms of like one t-shirt, one shirt, one hat. Like, you couldn't go in and buy like six hats, like it was impossible. At the time that I was in there, I got the whole dressing room to myself and it was amazing. I pretty much picked up everything I wanted, but obviously I didn't know at the time that it was only allowed one piece. And I was like, I'll just get this for my sister, I'll get this for my dog, I'll get this for my cat. And then I went to pay the bill and he's like, I'm so sorry, but you're not allowed. <laughs> that sister that was helping me was actually the person that helped me at the other branch that I usually go to, although for this particular occasion he was helping me at a different branch and he obviously didn't know and I didn't know so you know it's not really their fault. But I felt so bad, he was running back and forth to the warehouse to get extra stock for me and it was really sweet of him to go out of his way to A, call me there and B, get me everything that I wanted really. Um, so I was really grateful. And another thing I just want to mention is that I did not actually realize when they say that this is super exclusive, it is so exclusive. Like, honestly, I don't really know if I deserve to be there. <laughs> I don't really know if I deserve to get the Air Jordans at this point. There was no like official notice that this particular store was doing this private launch, but somehow people were walking into the store and they were like, I want these pieces. And they were like, obviously nicer than that. I just found it really like off-putting how some people were literally walking to the store and they were like, you don't know how many bags I bought from this brand, you don't know how much I bought. And they were like, come look at my record downstairs. And I was just like, okay, I would never do that. I would never do that face to face or like on camera. Like, I was just kind of upset at the way that the sales assistant previously spoke to me and said that I wasn't like the super VIP and I was like, that's kind of rude. The fact that people were actually coming in, they were like, you don't know who I am. It was kind of just like, I find that so disgusting. Don't you have shame? How do you go up to someone and tell them, you don't know who I am. You don't know how much I've spent here. I find that so disgusting. Honestly, how were you raised? But first and foremost, let's start, ooh, let's start off with what I got. First, obviously, I got the socks because I can wear socks every day. I just love socks and they have, the Air Dior logo on them. These are obviously men's, so I couldn't get everything I wanted in my size, but I managed to get the smaller size, or if I wanted something oversized, I get it in an oversized fit. I got the white, well, the ivory, and I got the gray as well. We love these. Oh, I might wear these today. This was at the top of my list, the Air Dior t-shirt. And I believe this is a navy, and I got this in a size large because it's like a dress, but I feel like this would also look really cute with a pair of like Rick Owens over the knee boots. Those sneakers, that those leather ones. Woo! That's a look. I just love those shoes. I feel like, yeah, over the knee, like those sneaker boots or like just trainers with like these socks could be a vibe. It could be a real vibe. But I, this is like, it's not black. It's like blue black, navy. So love that. And then, uh, oh, I got two socks. Well, I got three socks. And then, okay, this was not part of the collaboration, but this is part of the Miami 
collection and honestly i live for the menswear at dior i think it's so great i love this shirt like it gave me like like mafia boss vibes like hi i belong in miami wearing this kind of gianni versace Pablo Escobar vibes. We love those vibes here. So yeah, got that. That wasn't part of the collaboration though. And then, what is this? Ooh, okay. So then this is just, oh, uh, okay. This is a shirt. This is just a plain white long sleeve shirt that I picked up with the Air Dior logo. I'm hoping this is gonna fit nicely. To be honest, I have no idea. Ooh, and then there was a bag, a bag hidden, which everyone was looking for because it held this special item in it and it is the bucket hat okay look i'm not a bucket hat kind of girl but this is like kind of cute i personally don't think this is like my kind of vibe but she's cute i do look a bit like a clown my camera battery died but obviously i didn't want to stop filming because i was so excited and i want to actually wear this stuff and get an instagram picture in it i'm going to keep going but on my iphone so if the quality is bad i do apologize anyways and then ooh, this was something that was just lying there no one really was looking at no one really picked out but i felt like it could actually be quite a little cute vibe but it's something you can just wear to a concert <laughs> I don't really, like, I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys because I'm not sponsored by Dior. I'm not getting paid to say anything nice about them. I'm just very grateful that they actually gave me this opportunity to shop with them. I mean, the quality is great. It's still got the wrapping on it. It's leather. It's got this massive compartment. So it's got two compartments, one here and then one here. This is like a typical, what in the UK we like to call a roadman bag like what I would believe to be a roadmap bag. My neck with the logo, it's like a t-shirt fabric. So it's like Jersey, it's literally the same fabric as this t-shirt, except it's got long sleeve and a high neck. I do really love how they style this in the campaign and the quality of this is actually very good. Like the t-shirts are, are decent. And then this is, I believe this will be like triple not quadruple on the resale market because these are actually quite, quite attractive. So this is the exact same t-shirt except this is in the white with the black embroidered logo. Again, size large, short sleeve, so cute. Yeah, this is a vibe. This is a bit of me and I just love it. I think it's so cute. You can't go wrong with an oversized t-shirt when you're small. I feel like you just throw on a pair of heels, you can throw on a pair of sneakers, a pair of boots. You're good to go. Maybe even tie a like a little waist belt. I think this would look really cute with my little Dior waist bag that they sent me. So that was basically everything that I got from the Air Dior um, collaboration for now. Obviously you guys know they are doing the Jordans, the high tops and the low tops. Everything is super limited. There's like 300 pieces of each. I don't know if that's 300 pieces of each to each country or 300 pieces of each in the entire world crazy i'm praying i get either the high or low tops because those are cute i definitely would wear those the issue i find with collaborations as much as i love them i feel like once they've come out like for that very small window it's cool it's coolest when you have it before everyone else has it but then like for that period after it's like a small small window where it's quite cool because it's not something which is like sustainable in the sense that it's not really seen as cool to wear after like three years like i wouldn't be caught dead in any of my versace h&m stuff like hmm, actually i don't know now that i think about it like i do this a lot guys i like have conversations with myself in my head and i'm just like am i right am i wrong i don't know i don't know i do love a collaboration don't get me wrong i know a lot of you guys are probably here for the prices um because this hasn't actually dropped yet so the men's ready to wear t-shirt, the long sleeve. I'll talk about the prices in UAE dirhams, but then I'll try and put the conversion up next to me somewhere on the screen. 2,900, that's including 5% VAT, 2,900. And then, oh my God, this bill actually is making me very uncomfortable. Men's SLG, which is the little bag, 6,200 dirhams. 
ready to wear shirt, t-shirt, 2,700 dirhams. Men's shirt, 2,700 dirhams. T-shirt again, 2,700, which is the navy one. Socks, 1,000 dirhams. 1,000 dirhams, that's 250 pounds for a pair of socks. Um, ready to wear woven, the hat. Okay, that was 1,600 dirhams. Men's shirt, for, oh, that's, never mind, it's not really relevant. <laughs> it's not part of the collaboration, but that was the most expensive thing. This shirt was actually the most expensive thing that I bought throughout my little shopping trip. I want to say part of this collaboration, but it's not actually a part of this collaboration. I, I literally said the other day I'm so over logos, but like, this is kind of like a pool vibe. With a pair of like denim cutoffs. So yeah, that's basically everything that I picked up from the collaboration. Now let's go and do some more shopping. Okay, so now that the little edge your bit is done, if you're no longer interested in what I have to say, then you can switch off. But if you still want to know what I've been buying this week, then continue watching. This isn't another like Chanel Dior bit. This is more of like stuff you can find online. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that. First, we're going to start off with an amazing sale find, which I got. This is a Balmain jacket. I absolutely love Balmain. And this is actually more like a cardigan. And it is so beautiful. My battery on my camera is still dead, so I can't really film on that. Hopefully the camera on my iPhone is picking it up, but this is so beautiful. It's got like these little shaggy pieces coming off. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of the traditional Balmain blazer. I think they're just so overdone. And because so many of like these rip-off places are now producing them, I just can't really get myself to buy one. Like I used to really love them. I thought they were really smart and elegant. And then you see everyone on Instagram wearing the fake version and it's kind of just like... I still love the cardigans. I love a, like a collarless jacket. I think it's really cute. I love something which has shoulder pads and a majority of the Balmain blazers have shoulder pads and they're so well made this is a little large it is on the big side but it was on sale in the mall and i wasn't going to say no to 50 percent off because i don't actually know how to say no i don't know why but i really struggle to say no particularly when it comes to sale items if i like something and it's slightly big i'll make up an excuse to get it altered but yeah oh my god it's a 42 i'm usually like 34 36 38 max basically this is what it looks like on so nice it's got this blue woven material oh my god i forgot to show you guys did i show you guys let me check right now i'm like going through all the footage i filmed this week and i'm like did i film this did i film this oh nice they dropped it off she came personally who laura piana no that's <laughs> obviously not <laughs> <laughs> Just see she came personally. My sales associate. My charms. I'm thinking I'm gonna try and get these dipped in gold because it's actually silver. Are you serious? I thought they were. Oh gold. my god. How nice. Okay, they are quite cute. Like a few days ago, I picked this up basically because I got a message from my sales assistant at Laura Piana in Dubai Mall and she was like I have a pair of shoes that you're absolutely gonna love. Like you wanted this color and it was only available for order at the time. And I was like, I'm not waiting 10 weeks. It's impossible for me to wait that long. I don't like waiting 10 weeks. Four to six weeks, I will wait. But 10 weeks, I could be dead. But she was like, yeah, this is just come in. It's in your size. I know you really wanted this pair. So if you want it, I can drop it off to you. And she dropped off this beautiful pair of Laura Pianas. Actually, I did film that. I filmed it on my phone. Good morning. I'm Mr. Louie. Hello. <laughs> so just woken up to a lovely package. I've actually been shopping on Unas daily. It's really bad. I've had one package a day so far, but last night I realized I am going for dinner and I have no shoes to wear. Fortunately, they have two hour delivery. It's not sponsored because actually my sister had a really bad experience with them. And I just wanted to show you guys what I got because I finally got my first pair of Amina Mwadis. These aren't an exciting pair, I'm not going to lie. And I don't even know if they're going to fit, but let's see. So I got Amina Mwadis and I found this pair from The Attico on sale, which I really loved. And I think they would be perfect as an addition to my wardrobe. So... 
great. I hate shoes which need special attention. That is so annoying. <laughs> okay. These are so beautiful. I was actually going to get a pair like this from Aquazura, but without the crystals. I really wanted a pair of slip-on shoes like this with a sling back because I feel like when you wear like those split front trousers, they look so nice if you just have something going on on the toe and nothing around your ankle because it kind of cuts you off and just trousers in general i think it's quite cute love this heel i actually got size 36 and a half because that's what was available only so hopefully they fit because i've never actually bought from them before okay we have more special needs shoes great um heel stops need that all the time Ooh. So these are from the Attico. I'm not a huge fan of this toe. I've realized both these shoes have like a square-ish kind of toe. And that is like so old school. Like I love an almond toe. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about the square toe. It's like super like 2000s vibes. I got these because I just love these kind of lace-up heels. They remind me a bit of the Aquazuras. And I'm obsessed with these little shiny balls on the end. I actually put a Chanel bag which has this kind of like ball detailing on my wish list. So I'm waiting to get that. So I think these will be a really cute match together. But I'm definitely thinking of wearing these ones tonight if they fit. So the gold shoes from the Attico are going because honestly they were so awful. Like, no absolutely not they weren't cute like the aquazuras they were just not nice at all so you gotta go i'm actually so sad to say this but the amina moadis are gonna have to go as well i love them they're honestly so beautiful on but i don't want to be walking and have this slip off every time and it's really not a vibe like they slip off after a few seconds it's not like they're slipping off you know, after like a few hours walking. I actually took a few steps in these and then this was literally down here. And these rhinestones look super delicate. Even though I love them, I think they're so cute. I think this is gonna have to be a no for me. I don't know whether it's the shoe itself or the fact that it's just maybe half a size too big, but they're gonna have to go. In fact, even though they are half a size too big, they fit me very well. And I feel like if I did get half a size smaller so my usual size my toes would be literally right here and that's just that's not cute so i'm gonna have to look for an alternative pair of amina moadis to call my first i'm really sad about it because i loved these so much one thing i just wanted to add quickly because if you guys follow me you'll know that i'm not really the returns kind of person i hate returning stuff particularly if it's bought online because it's just so long but Unasa made it really easy and simple and they will literally pick it up for me. Okay guys, so I just got home. I got a lovely package from Aquazura. I also did a little bit of shopping at Burberry. I found some cute things. I also put something on hold which they finally managed to get for me in my size. And how cool is the new Bottega packaging? I actually found a really cute bag and a pair of shoes at Bottega which I'm going to show you. But first, let's talk about these shoes which I actually mentioned in a previous video. And a lot of you guys actually sent me this and were like, by the way, these are on sale. Unfortunately, my size was not on sale but everything was sold out and I could only find my size on this one website which was obviously Farfetch. And wow, here they are these are gonna look so cute with the new um burberry pants that i just got i'm so excited so these are what the aquazuras look like on they are really cute they're super high and excuse the mess in the back <laughs> but i'm glad i got my true size which is 36 wow they are so high but because they've got this platform in the front they're not that uncomfortable okay so i actually have two burberry packages i want to go through i just picked these up today um, these are what I had on hold and they actually found the size for me. It took a while because they didn't have them in store. But these are the pants that Naomi Campbell wore when she did that plain video. I did not like them at first, but once I got the other pair, the white pair, I really love them. And these are like 100% silk. They're so lovely. And I think they look really cute with these shoes. Like, 
obviously the shoes won't be shown but like I don't want to cut them <laughs> so this will be an elongated vibe and then because I love them so much I picked up the shorts this did come with like a matching shirt but the shirt wasn't so cute yeah I, I picked these up a while ago <laughs> maybe like a few days ago and see they've just been chucked back in the bag they're a bit creased but I do need to get the waist on this adjusted I might have to actually get these cut by half an inch because they're quite long they look like men's boxer shorts and I feel like they look a lot better on me if they were just a little bit shorter than what they actually are. So these are what the pants look like on. I'm wearing them with the heels, but I don't think the heels are high enough for these, which is a bit of a shame. They are so nice. Like, they don't look as nice on camera, but... I'm just going to show you one of these items now because I'm really excited about it. <laughs> actually, no, that's a lie. This is an item which I didn't think I would actually buy. There's two things in here. I'm not going to show you this. It's obviously a bag, but I'm not going to show you that right now. I want to show you the shoes first. These are a pair of shoes which I want to say are for me, but like I feel are more for my mother. She loves these. Personally, I've never been a fan of this particular style. There's two of them, two different styles. I'm sure you guys have already guessed. I did say I would never buy these, but this I feel is like the more subtle, nicer style. These are the Bottega Mules. I prefer these to the ones which have like the super chunky woven kind of detailing. I think those look really bad. But these are a bit more subtle and these are a bit more wearable. They're like low key. Well, obviously not low key, but they're cute. They're like everyday shoes for my mom. Like these are the shoes that she'd wear to the office. And I want to see if these like go well into my wardrobe. If they do, I'll probably pick up a few more pairs. I have had my eye on a pair of mules for a while. I'm not going to lie. A lot of my friends style these so nicely. And I was like, you know what? I really want a pair now. And I feel like people have stopped wearing them as much. So it was the perfect time to buy them. <laughs> so this is the new Bottega packaging. And I was like holding off showing you guys because my mum wasn't home yet. And I really want to see her reaction because I know she is absolutely gonna love this bag so i want i want to get your reaction on camera because i feel like this bag is so just do yeah this bag is so you wait <gasps> oh my god i right? love it how insane this is the new one oh um gee i know this is just incredible oh God, I love and it that. wasn't even out in stores yet she showed me it in um inside it literally feels like paper except it's like got this coating on it which yeah, is crazy it's got a waxing on. is it paper yeah i think so it's paper with a lot of wax came on in it. a smaller size but i was like nope we have to get the big one this is so nice beautiful i, I love it oh my god it's so unusual i know it's one of those that you could wear with absolutely anything as well. Yeah. And I got your shoes. Oh, I was wearing them. They're over there. Ah. <laughs> wow. 